Good morning, good morning. I am so glad to be here and I have a story to tell, my seven minute parenting tip. If you hear any noise in the background, by the way, I am sorry, my cat is at the window and it's spring and he's going crazy. Um, but we will uh, work through those little chatters that cat make, cats make and I wanna talk to you about a client of mine who um, really is in a bit of a hard time. So typically my clients are not in crisis or anything like that, but this mom, she's been through a huge change in her life. Um, and so the family is trying to resettle. And so she has um, a therapist for her son. So one of the things that um, I do is I make sure that coaching is appropriate um, because sometimes it's not. And so I was able to get in touch with the therapist and we had a very nice conversation. I got permission from the parent to do this, of course. And uh, so as we're working together, one of the things I do is I say, when I have a suggestions, I'll say, I want you to just run this by the therapist because I want to make sure that the therapist is on board with everything. So the problem um, that this uh, her son was having is that the, the, the real core problem is that the son was feeling powerless. Now, the way it was showing, you wouldn't know that he was powerless. You wouldn't understand that that was the real core issue that the parent was, that the child was dealing with. So one thing I teach my um, clients is the five needs. And we use this lens to look at our children a little differently and look at their behavior differently. And so what she determined was that her son really needed to feel like he had some power because he felt just utterly powerless in his family situation. So we brainstormed some things like he, he had um, what a lot of parents might call a meltdown, but really he was just having an emotional reaction of big emotional reaction to something. And so what I did was I said, hey, um, let's not provide a consequence for this behavior because this seems like it's really tied to something deep. This isn't like, I don't know, breaking a window or throwing ball in the house. This was something big. And, and so as I continued to work with this client, I was like, you know, what, what, what can give him power but for good, because he gets that need for power met by throwing things or having basically a tantrum or meltdown. You know, that feels makes him feel powerful. Well, let's give him something else. So, now I don't know a lot about this topic, but I told her, I said, you know, I wonder if there is a style of martial arts that is that helps children feel powerful in their bodies, but is still very respectful. And they, it's, it's self-discipline, it promotes self-discipline, it's non-violent, um, it's really about defending yourself, not hitting somebody, but like using moves and um, different uh, techniques in a, in a more defensive, in an artful way, uh, but definitely getting that body involved. And I'm so excited to report that the therapist agreed so that it was appropriate. So she is now looking for um, a style of martial arts that her son can focus on. And we'll see how it works. But the goal, the thing that I was thinking is, this child is uh, really struggling to, to feel like he has a sense of power. And so every child, and really all of us, when we move our body, when we feel strong, we feel like we can stand our ground physically, it helps us mentally and emotionally as well. And so that was the whole idea, um, is that to get him involved in something where he can learn something, he has to stay focused, so he's not thinking about his anxieties or problems or sadness for the for that specific period of time that the class is. When he leaves, so he's going to get endorphins in his body by moving his body. By the way, the book Spark, S-P-A-R-K, if you've got a kid who just seems to be running on a motor, this is a great book. They really promote a ton of outside time. Kids need 
a lot of physical exercise and I'm just not getting it today. And so this martial arts can give him a way to learn how to use his body instead of in a destructive way, in a very positive way, making him feel strong, helping him feel accomplished, having goals, and having a coach or a master, I don't know what they're called, to really guide him. Now, I have a client who um, she had her daughter who, her daughter has um, pandas, and really, you know, she was on a bit of a strict diet and because she really had to heal her gut. But the, the martial arts for this kid was phenomenal. So I, I had some experience with a client with that. And so I hope that this is helpful to you. If you think your kid is struggling because they don't feel like they have any power, get them involved in something like tennis or soccer or baseball or martial arts or swimming or Get them, it doesn't have to be necessarily organized sports. They could organize something themselves, maybe around the neighborhood. Oh, I think I might be running late. So that's it for my seven minute tips. I hope it works and for you and let me know what you think.